really fast. Thanks! I can go even faster. But I'm gonna need your help to speed up. Ostriches can run up to 40 miles an hour. Let's count by tens to get me all the way to 40. Start with 10. 10, 20, 30, 40. Woohoo! Now I'm going 40 miles an hour. Thanks for your help. Go Team Flyers! Look at him go! to be a trained ninja to get across. Jump on, Moshi! <laughs> Moshi, we need to be more careful. The mountain can be a dangerous place. Moshi! Thanks, Mountain Ninja Dima. It's getting windy. You'd better hurry. We're on it. doesn't look very safe. But it's the only way across. Moshi! Moshi, wait! <laughs> Moshi! Good job, Ninja Puppy! We're coming! We've got to use our ninja skills to get across. I'll go first. Right, you're an expert jumper. A dragon problem, sire. We don't actually know it's a problem. <laughs> oh, it's a problem. Can you get rid of it? Of course I can. I'm Una the Strong. All I need is a strong shield. Escort this knight to the royal shield maker. Are you the royal shield maker? Yes, I am. I am Una the Strong, and I need the strongest shield you can make. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Let's see. I need your help to build a really strong shield. The straight piece goes here. Which of the pieces fits here? That one, the curved one. Yes, sirry. The curved piece fits here. So this one must go here. Hmm, that's not right. What do I need to do? Turn it around. Oh, we just had to look at it a different way. Here you are, the strongest shield in the kingdom. Thanks for your help. Thank you. Now to get rid of that dragon. Good luck! So Una the Strong went to the top of the mountain to get rid of the dragon. <sighs> These 
These roses smell so pretty. Ouch! Thorns. Aha! Dragon, I am Una the Strong. Show yourself. Rawr! And that's when Una the Strong knew how she could use her strength to stop the dragon. Ugh. That should stop the dragon. into the solar system. When suddenly, a giant space monster appeared. A space monster! Let's get out of here! So the space aliens went to hide on the planet Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. But the planet Mercury was too hot. We have to get off this planet before we get cooked. <laughs> oh no, the space monster again! We've got to find another place to hide. What's the farthest planet in the solar system from here? The farthest planet is Neptune. Let's hide there, quick! So the space aliens went to hide on the planet Neptune. But the planet Neptune was so far from the sun, it was freezing cold. <laughs> we can't stay here or we'll turn into ice. He's back. We've got to find another planet to hide on. And quick! There are three planets that are closer to the sun to choose from. Venus, Earth, and Mars. We need your help. Which of these three planets do you think we should hide on? Venus? Earth? Or Mars? Which planet? That one, Earth. Right, Earth looks just right. <laughs> Quick, let's hide on Earth. Sorry. So the aliens went to hide on planet Earth. <laughs> I think we lost them. Oh, Earth is such a beautiful planet. <sighs> In the perfect place for our nap. But just as they were getting comfortable... <laughs> oh no! The space monster found us! <laughs> I've had just about enough of this! <laughs> hey, space monster, what's the problem? Can't the space alien take a nap? <laughs> He sure is cranky. Yeah. Hey, maybe he needs a nap. Is that it? Do you need a nap? <laughs> Una, please get out the space blankies. And so, the space aliens and the space monster took a nice nap on the beautiful planet Earth. And they all napped happily ever after. <laughs> there were two police officers whose job it was to help people find the right clothes to wear. Dress up, police. 
police. Come in, dress up police. We've got a dress up emergency near the fire station. Dress, dress up, up emergency. emergency. You're on it. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, but it's not safe to fight fires in those clothes. It's not? Dress up, police! Thanks, dress up, police officers. I'll be safe in this heavy coat and helmet. You're, You're well. well. Oh, 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 Gorilla! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Come in, dress up, police. Someone needs your help at the beach. Dress, dress up, up emergency. emergency! You're on it! Excuse me, ma'am, but that astronaut suit isn't right for hula dancing. Tell me about it. Whoa! Dress-up police! <gasps> Thank you, dress-up police! Let's get out of here! I think we lost him. Come in, dress up police. Someone needs your help at the big football game. Dress up emergency. You're on it. Whoa. This is a dress up emergency. I need to look like the rest of my team, but I'm all mixed up. I need a uniform. Your uniform lets everyone know which team you're on. We need your help. Gil needs a helmet that matches his team's uniform. Which one of these helmets is blue with an orange stripe and an orange circle? This one, this one, or this one? That one! Yeah, that one. It's blue with an orange stripe and an orange circle, just like the uniform. Dress up, police! In ancient Japan, there lived a great emperor who loved ballet very much. You called for us, emperor? I have terrible news. The snow monkey has taken my most beloved treasure. The snow monkey? Not the precious golden ballet slippers. Oh, yes. You must bring them back to me. I love them so much. We will use our best ninja and ballet skills to return the golden slippers to you. And so, the ballet ninja set off for the mountain of the snow monkey. Behold, the mountain of the snow monkey. Let's go. Look! There he is! The snow monkey. And there are the golden slippers. Let's go! Gobi, no! We can't step into those puddles. They're filled with boiling water. We need your help to do the right ballet moves to get past the snow monkey. To get to the golden slippers, we've got to use two ballet moves. Up on our tippy toes, like this. Or jump in the air like this. If we use our moves in just the right order, we won't fall into the hot water. Let's go. Say it with us. Start with tippy toe. Tippy toe, tippy toe, jump. Tippy toe, tippy toe, jump. Tippy toe, tippy toe. What comes next? 
Ninjas. Why are you crying, Snow Monkey? Those slippers don't belong to you. But I wanted these slippers so I could try ballet dancing too. Ballet dancing is more than just putting on slippers. You have to practice. Will you teach me? Of course we will. Mm. And so, the Emperor got his golden slippers back, and the Snow Monkey learned how to dance ballet. And they all lived happily ever after. Hi! Welcome to Puddle Park. How can I help you? I'm here to stomp in my favorite puddle. Do you have your rain boot on? Yep. All ready to splash. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Here's your puddle, ma'am. All ready to be split. Oh my! It looks like your puddle is shrinking. <gasps> oh no, you're right. My puddle used to be this big, but now it's only this big. The warm sunshine dried up the puddle. But if it rains, the puddle will get big again. What makes rain? Clouds. Clouds make rain. Clouds are made of teeny weeny little droplets of water. Okay, Cloud, do your thing. Hmm, we need your help. The clouds that have the most rain in them are dark. So we need your help to find the cloud that has the most rain. Which cloud holds the most droplets of water? This one, this one, or this one? Right! That cloud is the darkest, so it holds the most rain. Whoa! That's a dark rain cloud. Uh-huh. It's full of so much water that it's about to burst. It's raining! And my puddle is getting bigger. Ready? Mm-hmm. One, One, two, two three! <laughs> that was fun. Thanks for helping me make my puddle big again. Anytime. And thank you for helping me pick the right rain cloud. Excuse me, what time is it? It's time for lunch. 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 It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? Hey, Una, what'd you get for lunch? I got a cheese sandwich and carrot sticks. I got a roast beef sandwich and mozzarella sticks. Yum! What did you get, Nani? I got a ham sandwich and... a mozzarella stick? gonna tidy up. Oh, yes they will. I'm going up there now, and I'm going to use my serious face. Hm. Whoa. Yeah. That is serious. And so, Una and Bubble Puppy went up the mountain to ask the mighty and tiny titans to come down and tidy up. Excuse me again, Titans. You have a visitor. Who dares to interrupt our lunch? I told her you were busy, but she had a very serious face. Hmm. <gasps> I'm here to 
ask you to tidy up our farm. Serious face or not, we will not be tidying up. For we are... Oh boy, here we go. The Mighty Untidy Titans! Who turned out the lights? Official, our little goat farm is mighty untidy. Yeah. The line is still up towards the top. Ah, it's warm here too. Well, it is another tropical climate, Captain. <laughs> Ar, me poor parrot Polly is already sweltering in this heat. Prepare the snow cannon! Yo -ho -ho, oh, oh, what and a, a big, big blast of whoa! Ocean patrol! Whoa. And friends, we're here to stop you! Yar! You'll never stop Windy Pete! <laughs> He's been turned into a popsicle. Is he okay? <laughs> Your snowy days are over, Windy Pete. Never! Pyranuna, crank the snow cannon up to ten. Shiver their timbers. I said shiver their timbers! No, Captain. I'm not going to help you anymore. Una? It's time to stop your wintry ways, Windy Pete. Once and for all. <laughs> Yikes! Let me go. I am sorry for freezing everything, but all this tropical heat is bad for me, poor parrot. Parrot? <laughs> um, that's not a parrot. It's a penguin. Huh? <laughs> well, I'll be a busted barnacle. Polly, you're a penguin. <laughs> And this type of penguin belongs where it's cold, not in the tropics. Well then, prepare to set sail for the cold, snowy north, the Arctic. Actually, penguins like Polly don't live up north. They live in the south, in the Antarctic, which is also very cold. Awesome waves! But before they could get their surfboards in the water... Dudes! Huh? This is totally my beach. Polar bear! Let's get out of here! Let's go find another beach! Totally! So the surfers ran away to find another beach where they could surf. Dude! Iceberg Beach has the best waves of the world! Totally, dude! Let's go before that polar bear shows up again. But guess who showed up again? Uh-oh. My beach dudes. Mr. Polar Bear Dude, the beach is for everyone. And My beach! Ah! Whoa! My beach! Dude is totally going to get us. Hurry, help me break. Of course.
course, he has an inner tube. My eyes flow! Oh, he's got an inner tube. Now what are we gonna do? Goby, look! Here comes a really big wave! If we only had a surfboard, we could surf that wave back to shore before the polar bear gets us. But how are we going to surf without our surfboards? I know! Let's make a new surfboard out of ice. Awesome. Surfboards are shaped like this. And we can use these pieces of ice to make a surfboard. Let's start here. Which piece of ice will fit into this space? This one. Right. Let's keep going. Which piece of ice will fit here? That one. Yeah, that one. We just need this last piece. Uh-oh, it doesn't fit this way. What should we do with it? Turn, turn it around. around. Yeah, we should turn it around. We did it. Thanks for your help, dude! Here comes the way! Let's go! My ocean! Surf's up! My wave! Whoa, 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 whoa. So the surfers surf safely back to shore. Prepare the minivan. Aye, aye, Captain. So the pirates got in their minivan and headed out on the open road. Where are we going on our picnic, Captain? We're going all the way to the top of Picnic Peak. Picnic Peak? Oh, goody. I mean, R. According to our map, the first thing we'll see is Cactus Hill. There it is, up ahead. Maybe let's take a picture. Say R. R. When suddenly. Excuse me. R. R. The white, white whale. whale. Let's get out of here. So the pirates jumped into their minivan and drove away as fast as they could. I think we lost it. How far away is Picnic Peak? Well, we just drove over Cactus Hill, and the next landmark on the map is Stony Arch. There it is, up ahead. Pull over, matey. So the pirates pulled over to take another picture. Say, R, R. But then. Excuse me. So the pirates jumped into their minivan and drove away as fast as they could. Is he following us? I don't see him. That's a relief. And look, there's Picnic Peak. Arr! And so the pirates made it to Picnic Peak and drove all the way to the top to have their picnic. Arr! The view from up here is beautiful. Look, there's our ship. All the way back there. That's far away. But guess who came back again? Excuse me? The white whale! Did we lose him? I think so. But just as the pirates got to their ship... Look out! Excuse me, sir. Why do you keep chasing us? Well, I've never met pirates before, so I was wondering. Will you take a picture with me? Of course we will. Would you like to have a picnic with us? Yeah, I've never been to a pirate picnic before. Yay! So the pirates and the white whale went back up to Picnic Peak for a picnic. And they all took a picture together. Okay, ready? Say R. R. And they all lived happily ever after. You can ask 
your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week. And watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.